snake. What's happened there? A little baby snail lost his life because somebody was on the phone, I suppose, did not pay attention to life around them. That's hello, 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 hello. Hope you're all doing great today because this snail is doing an absolutely beautiful. Look how amazing. great intelligence including this weed Oy. grass whatever you want to call it how incredible how sensitive and how intelligent I hope no one's going to uh, trample on me nor this little snail, I'll wait for him to cross the path so that is out of the harm's way. Otherwise, a cyclist, somebody on the phone these days, everybody is so mobile, smartphone zombies, Not, no alertness to life around them. Go for a walk, they're on the phone with a dog on the other hand just now. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is how we've uh, learned to live. This is what we call human progress. For these creatures, nature has got two lines drawn. And for that reason, they're living a profound life without ever getting twisted like the human beings are. The birth and life has to be lived with the bottom line and the top line defined by nature. But for human beings, the bottom line is defined at birth. But there's no top line. The top line is an immense possibility, immense, infinite or infinite possibilities and that is what is causing the humans to destroy each other and this planet and every other creature that is supporting the planet and life it is a sad prospect that uh, we've not learned to um, enhance our lives and increase our potential to take care of the planet and the life here on the planet. Our spongy brain that is supposed to absorb the knowledge and increase our possibilities on the planet by, by taking on limited identities and limited knowledge. We are not only limiting ourselves, but we also, but we are also uh, destroying the very fundamentals of life. Look at that intelligent ants carrying his food or her food, and this snail, an incredible life. I hope doesn't get eaten by these ants which are all over here but that's the nature the intelligence of each of these creatures will determine the survival and uh, survival of its life nature has created in a way that is meant to uh, oops <laughs> come through please <laughs> there's a young chap nature has uh, nature has uh, I didn't see that little kid on a bike 
slow down in a very beautiful way and smiled and wonderful. Wow, that wind just got that grass hitting. Oops, look at that. Just got that uh, blade of grass hitting the snail's tentacles and he retract. Wow. Amazing. Amazing to watch. Amazing to watch how life is. Oh, there's a little bit of grass and uh, the snail's retracting for surviving. Survival. Unbelievable, folks. If you pay attention to life, it's so much you can learn from. It's so much you can learn from and so much you can pay it by paying attention to life. The life shows its integrated, evolving, wholesome health. Amazing. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you did so, I've got houses of others that shares the very, very intelligence of our intelligence of creation here on earth. It's only that if you pay attention, your profoundness of life becomes impactful. all the and remove you from all the psychological nonsense that you have taken up in this vast existence here as a planet earth that we share amongst all other life is here to take care of each other and to promote the very well-being and health of every creature and every blade of grass it's here for a profound significance i hope every human being is taught of this and paid attention to this very significance of life thank you for being here. let's journey through